Um, here is an RC um, timing circuit, and so you put 5 volts in from the power supply and the green leads, and then from there it goes the yellow lead across a one farad button capacitor, which has some interesting properties. Um, it then goes from there through to the light bulb, from the light bulb through the black wire which goes into the ammeter, which uh, we're going to soon discuss probably in the circuit don't have, just have a wire across those two terminals, and then it goes into here, and when it's in a charging circuit it goes, um, oh that's in a charging position, and then discharging um, we re remove this bit, so with discharging we flip the switch and it goes around the loop to there and so it doesn't go through the power supply. Um, and so if we um, have a ammeter connected across where it says A and you can either have a voltmeter across um, the light bulb or across the capacitor whichever um, floats your boat and then you can come over to graphical analysis and if you click um, the time basing and we'll probably go at 100 samples a second and you want it to go for a long time so 50 seconds or 100 seconds is probably fine um, and then you click collect and then you come over and you close the switch so that's into charging position and you see that the bulb glows and it glows bright and then it goes dim and you come over to the graph and you can see that graph so um, the current does something a bit funny I'm not quite sure why it does that bit there but if we look at the voltage we're getting this lovely voltage graph and so for this prac I'd probably not bother with the current but the current is helpful to see that even though the brightness is basically no brightness there is still fair amount of current going through there and so if you're not patient enough then the capacitor is not charged enough for when you discharge and so you wait a while for that and so now 50 seconds clearly wasn't enough but it's more or less charged although we're still measuring 0.01 amps so we click collect again and this time we'll flip it over and we'll discharge it and so this time it's going um, getting the brightness purely out of the capacitor and the power supply doesn't even um, isn't even connected at all and we're seeing well, although I made a little bit of a bump on the circuit, um, you've seen that the, the potential graph is brilliant, nice and smooth, and the current again has this weird anomaly. I think it's to do with the properties of the button capacitor, and would probably recommend using one of these big super capacitors because they're a little bit better. Um, and you can apply a curve fit to your graph, so, and come over to this button and apply curve fit. And I think we're wanting. And if we click natural exponent, because um, it is a negative E graph, we get a lovely um, set of data. Um, and so for pupils you'd say, well what's the peak voltage? And then you'd say, well 63% of that peak voltage, and then that would be your one time constant which you could get them to work out.